Good day everyone and welcome to something a little bit different. Something to actually break the mold between my Need for Speed episodes. And I'm actually going to play a game which I remember getting years ago, absolute years ago, and thinking that this was going to be the best thing ever. It's got all the things I love. You know, cool art design, cool drawings, cars, anime, cartoons, you name it. And I thought that this was going to be the absolute shit. Even more so than GT, oh my god, oh that GT game was so bad, I'm so much a grumpy bastard. But this game, let's just say there's a reason why I'm doing this run. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a walk, not really walkthrough, but um, just to have a look at. And this game, right now, I'm just starting from fresh. Usually I'll go through arcade settings or maybe I'll have played through the garage life a fair bit to actually, um, you know, uh, show it off a little bit. But I am going to be a little bit odd when it comes to this look at. Especially the fact that I'm... Oh, there we go. Sometimes it does that, unfortunately. But, uh... I'm going to show you what I was experiencing when I played this game for the first time. And I'm going to name my garage, I'll just go with uh, something simple, something generic. Sorry, I didn't really think of anything cool to name it. Can't really call it the Batman Bill, but we'll just call it Joey's Garage. Don't know, that's some ganky ass uh, <sighs> input. Anyhow, so Joey's Garage. Um, there's no Top Gear test track or the Top Gear Warehouse, so I'm going to go for... Ooh. Um, log House, because why not? Okay, and we finally get to pick our car. Hmm, that was very really quick. Can I pick any car? So, just having a little quick look here. What's the best car I can get? Uh, oh, okay, I can get one right off the bat. But, this game, um, besides the three uh, secret um, manufacturers. I think one of them is Dome. One of them is that, I uh, can't remember exactly what it's called. It's that big ugly looking fish car that starts with H, I can't remember. And I can't remember what the last one is. But we have a fair selection of good uh, manufacturers right here. At least they were able to sponsor their own cars. <laughs> and they actually got Chevrolet and uh, Dodge, which is handy. You know, uh, the Corvette Z06, pretty good. Oh, Fords as well, didn't actually notice. Oh, sweet. I guess what car that is. But we have our Mustang. And we have our, obviously our um, Viper right there. But uh, yeah, they actually were able to license a fair few cars. Um, I actually don't remember. It could just be me, but I had the European version. I don't know if you actually had Acuras in it. Or any of these American cars. Oh, I was going to say... You know, what's the point of having an Acura but not a, a um, NSX in it, but I realise it's all in here. And we have, you know, hidden cars, and I'm like, oh my god, that looks like a S600? S600? Yeah, I know, someone can tell me if I'm wrong or not. Pretty much sure it's, it is. But uh, we have a few unlockable cars. Hairy Muff. So we've got to pick a car, and usually I could be an absolute unoriginal bastard, and uh, obviously... Um, go with Skyline. But actually I'm going to go for something a little bit different. Usually I'll go with the um, Supra, but actually I'm going to go for something a little bit different. Something I wouldn't really do normally in my normal place, but I'm going to pick the RX-7 and you'll see why I'm going to pick RX-7. Um, the actual, give a name for your car. Um, the car looks exactly like a, let's we'll call it Sally, why not? Because that sounds like a pretty car girly name. I don't know. Yeah, why not Sally? Uh, you serious? Getting a little bit meticulous here? Anyhow, whilst I navigate this ganky ass uh, input system, I'll tell you why I'm actually going to pick this RX-7. It's the fact that um, I'm using it for the particular uh, art style for this game. Um, is the reason why I thought that this game was going to be absolute balling. But it really is 
it's something you sort of have to look at and you go, oh my god, that's awesome, man. I can't believe you can do so much to your cars and it looks so good and it's all hand drawn and so much care and effort would have went into this game. Oh, I was very wrong. But we'll tune our car first and usually I'll tune up everything manually, but for the purposes of this look at it, I'm going to do it automatically. Okay. Max speed or acceleration? Uh, yeah, uh, why not? Drift or grip? Uh, I'm usually a grip racer. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Thanks for that, car, game. I don't know. And one of the things we get to do, and this is probably what most people will be doing throughout this game, instead of, Ooh, oh my god, these stripes are bad. I think that's the only sort of decals we can actually get, vinyls, I don't know what you want to call it. But we get to dress up our cars. And the thing I actually really like about this game is the fact that this game had a big enough budget to actually license some proper um, aftermarket parts and such like that. So, you know, I don't even know what that is. Could be anything. But we also have the Ari and Emya. And Emya? Oh, I said it wrong, jeez. And he didn't even realize it was in front of me. I was actually trying to look up and all the room it was. But yeah, um, every single car has their own sort of personalized body kiss. Like you usually would, but uh, uh, why not? But unlike Need for Speed, Shit Ground, Underground, what are you going to call it? You know, these are proper body kits. They're not just random stuff that makes the game look good. And I was hoping that they'll have a REMM ya body kit for the whole car, like a whole body kit for it, or make it look like the bail side kit or whatever. <sighs> you know what, I'm actually going to change everything back. Actually, nah, I'll leave it for now. Actually, it looks a bit barren. Yeah, why not? That's the speed. Looks a bit ugly, but, oh well, deal with it. Uh, spoilers a little bit too big, but who cares? And... Uh, do we actually? I don't know. I've actually haven't tried this game out since, so I can't remember exactly. But it actually looks pretty promising. The fact that it's actually got proper well-known um, manufacturers in regards to tires. Like we got NK, um, Oz Racing, which is pretty handy. Don't think we have BBS. I'm not sure. That's a little bit of a good thing if we did have BBS. No, again, no REMM -E rims, which is unfortunate. And obviously, we can't put. Maybe Rally Yard or Civic Rims <laughs> on your RX-7 because that's just silly. Okay, um, anything all black, multi-spoke, I don't know. Oz Racing usually does. Oh, not really. Hmm. Oh, it's the closest thing I can get to a Lotus, I guess. And hopefully they have the no pop-up lights. Yeah, knew it. Sick. Nice. Even though the car looks a little bit unproportional, it's kind of cool. Cool concept. And obviously we're going to change the colour, um, repaint the whole thing to poo brown. Nah, but not. I have a bit of respect for RX-7s, I actually don't mind it. Hmm, yellow. Hmm. Sort of reminds me of another car, but let's not do that. Uh, how about we go? How about we just pander it up? Because I like it. And because we're an absolute dweeb, I'm going to be an asshole. Really? Hey. Hey. You're forgetting something. Maybe I can change the mirror? Maybe not. <sighs> this, this car has been, um, Tainted with the fact that I cannot change. Oh, I can change. Spoiler, but I can't change my bot. Ah, oh, now he works. Oh, that's a bit peculiar. Oh well. Obviously, we're not going to have these green ass um, splice flavored rear mirrors because that's just silly. And I'm not going to put crap all over my car because that's silly as well. And we don't want to change my license plate. So here we're at it. 
Ready to go, bitches. I've got my Panda RX-8, oh sorry, RX-7 going on with my wheels clipping through my body. Yeah, everything is hand drawn. It's like I'm playing Initial D, right? So let's race. Got the funky music and um, we go down the um, mountain. Yeah, sweet. So yeah, um, this is my first impression of what happened many years ago. I think I was about eight years ago. Thinking, oh my god, it's a sweet. It actually looks awesome. And I wish I drove that skyline, but of course I'm not because everyone always does. And we have Toge runs. God, oh, god damn, how awesome is this? <sighs> Fucking Americans. <laughs> okay, yeah, oh. And you can crash right away. Now, this is the first impression I got going. Oh, yeah, pretty good looking. I gotta get used to the game. And by the way, I am. I'm using a pro, uh, like a pretty good um, analog stick right now. And let me tell you that if I go full lock, I end up spinning my car really easily. This car is the worst physics possible. Maybe I should really change my car settings or something, so make it more drifty. Because maybe it's a little bit grippy or something. I have no idea. But this game feels like absolute ass. Looks awesome, but just because looks um, always appeal doesn't exactly mean the game is good. And I feel like such a dweeb because I'm driving bloody manual. Automatic. God damn it. Oh my god. The physics are so bad in this game. But everything looks so good. Now one of the reasons why I, stop, I absolutely started to hate this game. is not the fact that I'm doing absolutely shit. You know, the art style is kind of cool. Like, the attention to detail, um, you know. I can't tell how fast I'm... Oh god damn it. You know what, I'm going to do another race after this, seriously. Oh, this is really bad. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, um, there's no sense of speed in this game, because, I don't know, it just feels fucked up. The only way you actually tell you're going fast is by looking at the wind currents blowing on the screen. Which, I guess it's an artistic view of things, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm getting sort of used to the, um, <laughs> to the controls right now took me a while. You know, it's not something that you pick up and you're natural at it. You gotta be uh, extremely easy on the throttle. And I gotta love the announcer right here. So enthusiastic! Amazing! Sugoi bitches! Ah, oh, no, no. Nearly had it. I was actually aiming for that Lancer Evo because, yeah, unlike my um, LP of Need for Speed to Run, I had the perfect chance to run this car. Ram it, ram it good. God damn it. And we also have. Okay, the um. Uh, the replace settings aren't too bad. Didn't really think of it too much, but. Well. It's artistic at least. But they just needed the extra mile in this game which to make it good. And let me tell you that this game was very poorly received. <sighs> a little bit sad. Yeah, that's better. I love you, Godzillas. <sighs> yeah, he's got his in oh. I thought he had his warning lights on. Anyway! You know what, I'm actually going to do another race. Got to give this game a little bit more justice than that. So, um, actually, I'm actually put this out. Um, when you actually race and stuff like that, and you can unlock the small handful of cars. By the way, there's not that many cars, to be honest. So, is this like Gran Turismo, where you sort of have to buy and tune your car, stuff like that? Obviously, I showed you at the start that you can't really uh, start from the bottom and end up at the top, like, you know, GT or something like that. Hey, I've got some mail. Maybe it's the, um, it's my subscription to my porn mag. Maybe not. It's just telling us, you know, hints about the game. Anyway, 
Uh, as I was saying before, yeah, so what's actually making you play this game? You don't actually unlock that many tracks, there's not many tracks at all. Um, you don't actually unlock that many, uh, oh, obviously, parts and stuff like that. You can see that was only one part for this car in particular, and it's RX-7, so it's not like, you know, there's a bit of a... There's a fair bit of abundance when it comes to body kits for this car in particular, so don't expect too much for any other car. And um, so you keep racing and you get stuff like uh, car design, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Stuff like this. Now I can always remind myself of that great Ghostbusters scene with the um, poppin', poppin' fresh. Yes, any more stuff. And I'm going to... Um, usually I'll put it right here, but because... I'm an asshole. Yeah, you cannot get to the tools. Need to change the spark plug? Bad luck, you should have... And just to remind yourself of this crappy game made by Capcom. Yeah, half the time you're dressing the game up or dressing up your cars. And that's the only incentive you got for this game. Not many tracks, not many cars to get. The physics feels like absolute shit. Um, you can always work your way up and I remember working my way up and nothing really happens. You can actually play this game online which is a bit of a, you know incentive, however not so flash. Actually, why not? Um, I'm going to do a quick car. No data. Um, select a new car. Yeah, Sally's good enough. Um, I'm going to quickly pick another car and just quickly race. Um, maybe I'm just giving that car a little bit of, you know, shit. I was gonna choose a Nissan again, but Trias must must not. I'll go Scooby Doo. Um, is that the P50? Not exactly. I can't remember. Bug Eyes 22B. Why not? Hey, we can change the color here. How come I couldn't change the color before? Strange. And I would usually go white because I like white cars, but um, go red. And that's kind of cool. So we'll change to the Srex. Name a car. Um, I reckon Rex is pretty good. I can, that's a normal legit name. And what's a crappy uh, license plate? Uh, to... God damn, this is the worst. Fat. I don't know, I'm just making things up. I didn't think of a second license plate. I was supposed to be too fat for you, but I realized that these are Japanese cars, so they only have five. I think five? Yeah, about five um, letters, digits, integers, I don't know what you're gonna call them. And. I hate highways, so we'll go um, the Toge race again. Keep rocking. Wait a second, this announcer sounds extremely familiar. I swear I've heard it before. Wait, I swear again. I never noticed this. This sounds exactly like the um, announcer from Capcom vs SNK2. Or SNK vs Capcom, I don't know what you want to call it. But um, the reason why I'm actually picking this car and I'm just sort of, you know, seeing. Maybe I was driving really badly. Nope. A four wheel drive car feels exactly like that rear wheel drive car. Joy. Oh well, at least we'll try and beat the race for once. And hopefully not oversteer, because we can't actually do that in real life. Uh, again, the graphics are absolutely spectacular, and the fact that I'm playing this game in HD using emulator, eh, it looks good. Obviously it's no uh, Zelda Wind Waker, but I don't think I'm going to 
be enjoying this game a lot. Again, it's a bit of a palate cleanser for the uh, Need for Speed, which was absolutely awesome. And I could be talking about cars all the time, yeah. But at least this gives me time to <laughs> not be so serious. Because... Oh my god, the physics in this game is so bad, and this Skyline shouldn't be so far back. I love Skylines. <sighs> Actually, R32s in particular. I do like the um, the cool wind effects from the actual tires whenever you sort of slide. I wouldn't say drift because technically you can't really drift properly, or it's not really drifting because I'm not really breaking any traction in my rear wheels because all I'm doing is pretty much throttling as hard as I can. No, I'm not really there. I'm actually not really. I'm actually paying attention now because I really want to beat these guys. I don't really tune my car properly. Okay, how about the sound? Let me just hear it for a bit. Uh, they did alright with the sound. It sort of sounds boxy-ish, or rexy-ish, if you want to call it. Got that deep growl. So, I guess it's alright. But, again, uh, a fair bit of budget went into this game because they were able to license a lot of cars and a lot of aftermarket parts and stuff like that. Which is good. But it just so happens that the gameplay was very mediocre at best. Again, have a look at it. Um, don't bother looking at the reviews, they're apparently me. Oh! Yeah! Oh. The um, collision detection is pretty shit. Anyway, this is going to be the end of my video. It's just a little bit of a look at of a game that I thought was going to be absolutely awesome just because it looked awesome, but it ended up being pretty shit. And it's a little bit subjective to say, at least. You know, maybe people enjoy it. And those people are incredibly wrong. <laughs> nah, joking. Now, there comes to the fact that the game feels arcadey, and it's a game that feels simulator. And this game feels nothing like any. It's not exactly fun, it's not exactly fluid. The uh, physics seems to be very, very inconsistent. And, well, just to make a comparison, uh, initial D arcade stages, yes, they felt like a damn roller coaster half the time, but at least it was consistent and it was fun, and you can sort of work your way around it. This, I guess you can be consistent, but it ends up being very boring. There's not much freedom involved. Uh, but it looks absolutely fantastic, and that's commendable. Um, I remember back in the day, I used to always take screenshots of this game and just like, you know, try and doodle the car because it's actually incredibly hard to draw cars freehand and, oh, you know, really young back in the um, high school days, I guess. But anyhow, I'm going on a bit of a tangent right now. Uh, this has been all in one of this stuff for the PS2. Sorry, I forgot to mention. Made by Capcom. Have a look at it if you want. Uh, admire its beauty. But don't actually try and play it unless it absolutely interests you. And then I'll just tell you to go play Initial D. Initial D? Or, um, I don't know. I would actually say Need for Speed, but no! <laughs> but um, that should be it. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you next time.